everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Shauna and welcome to Shauna's World. Yay! So how's everybody doing today? Yeah. Well, I'm doing great. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I'm so sorry. So much has been going on. <laughs> so um, as y'all see, I'm doing my makeup and actually it's quite late over here. It is Four in the afternoon. Yes, I'm doing my makeup at four in the afternoon. I know I'm so bad, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so much to talk about, so much to share. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm doing my makeup, so please join me as I apply my makeup. I got some new stuff. Um... I showed you guys the lipstick that I've gotten already, but I've also got, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Now that I'm looking for it, I do not find it. Brr, that's so annoying. Where is it? Yes, here it is. Right in front of me. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's Fenty. Yes, Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. It's the match stick. Yes. It's skin stick. And it's crown. Crown fond. Truffle number four. So this is my new... I like the way that sounds. It's my new... Um, my new contour stick. I'm going to try that out. I want to try out something new. And, um, yeah, look at this packaging. Doesn't this look suave? Oh, I love it. Yes. It's giving me Fenty. Yes. I like it. Fenty Beauty. Ooh. Did you hear that? Let me do it again. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to try. Oh, this looks like chocolate, doesn't it? It's like a, a chocolate... Uh, candy piece. Mm. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do some contouring here. But before that I'm going to apply my little eyeshadow. I'm not sure which color I'm gonna do today. But yeah, so let's get let's get to talking here. I've been busy. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but um, I watched the new uh, Netflix documentary movie Blonde, which is about um, Marilyn Monroe. And man, let me tell you, wow, it's deep. It's really, really deep. But you know what? I can have appreciation for it because I felt like, you know, Marilyn Monroe is has always been this iconic woman that everybody loves. And she just looks so well put together and so perfect but in this movie they really they put her out there i mean they have really put her out there as far as yeah they showed that this woman was extremely unhappy and it was sad in that aspect they showed how she grew up how her mother tried to take her out of the world two times yeah that her mother had r real mental issues um quite sad honestly um, yeah, and yeah, and basically she, you know, um, like I've heard before in Hollywood, you know, she had to do a few things to get a few things, to get some roles, if you guys know what I mean. So this, this, uh, movie was really, yeah, it was really deep. I mean, it was, it wasn't a happy movie because um, she was really unhappy and her marriage is, oh my goodness, that first guy that she was married to, um, they really, they showed him really abusing her. I never knew that. I mean, I knew, I thought he was just verbally abusive, but um, he was mentally, uh, mentally and physically um, abusive. Um, which I was like, wow, I would never would have thought that, never. Um, I 
That was pretty sad. And then they, I liked how they, um, okay, I did like it, but I did like it. I like how they played up on the fact that she was a Gemini. Yay! Yes, it's a Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yes, I'm a Gemini too. <laughs> but however, okay, I know it's like all oh, myth and stuff, but however, she's a Gemini. And so they talked about that and, and you know, and showed her little star signs while she was hanging out with these two guys. Um, I guess they were happened to be her lovers. They were twins. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a hard movie to watch. But on the other hand, like I said, it just really showed that it shows you that um, even though we think you know, our icons are perfect. It just shows you in a different light that they're not perfect. They're people just like you and I. They just happen to, you know, um, they just happen to want more in life. And they got exactly what they wanted. But if they really needed it and if it was so good for their development, that's another story. But, um, yeah, like I said, it really shows... Um, Yeah, this woman had really major issues, and um, yeah, it was sad. But it was a it was a really good movie. Um, I thought it was a good movie. My my daughter didn't like it at all, and I'm speculating because I guess it just tears down the image that we all wanted to think Marilyn Marilyn Monroe was, and what what she represented. It beauty had it all put together. Nobody knew behind the the closed doors that, you know, this woman had serious mental issues, but I don't know. She was just very lonely. I think, you know, it seemed like most of the guys that got involved with her were just basically with her because of her image. They fell in love with Marilyn Monroe and not, uh, what's her name? Uh, what was her maiden name? Um, her maiden name is, what is it? Oh gosh, forgive me guys. Um, what is her maiden name? Mm. Her maiden name, maiden name, maiden name is... Da, 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 da. It's at the tip of my tongue and I can't think about it. Do you guys know how that is? You you have something that the, you want to say something and then it's just not coming out. Ugh. I want to say something Baker, but that's I'm thinking of somebody else. Um, what is that woman's name? Norma. Norma Jean. Yes, Norma Jean. It's actually a really nice name, Norma Jean. Yeah, but basically everybody fell in love with her. Her her character, um, this beautiful woman, like I said, who had everything put together and so on. And then here, you know, here's here's this movie coming out who... Yeah, kind of tears down that image of perfect girl. So I think that was probably why a lot of people were disappointed. But however, um, it's a must see. Viewer discretion is advised. So just be, you know, be prepared. It's, it's not a pretty picture. Um, but it's definitely, I, th I thought the movie was put together well. Honestly, it's about a two hour and something movie. So be prepared. It's quite long, but you know, like I said, good. Um, the woman who, let's see, what's her name? As you all see, I did not do my research. I'm just coming out here and talking. Um, let's see. Movie Blonde. I, the actress, I've never seen her before, but she did an awesome job. Um, she played her very well and actually looked, she looked like Marilyn Monroe. Um, who was this woman? Ah, Ana de Ar Armas. Ana de Armas. I, I'm taking, she's, yeah, I was going to say she sounds Cuban or Latino. Latino. But she did an awesome job. Wow. Pretty girl. Did an awesome job. Did very well. Wow. Played her, played her really well. 
I hope she gets an Oscar for it. She did good. She had me convinced. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so that was that. I saw that yesterday. Yeah, two hours. And then afterwards, of course, I had to put something else on because I was quite depressed after that. <laughs> no, I wasn't depressed, but it was sad. So, um, yeah, what else is coming out? Oh, yeah, a new... Friday the 13th is coming out. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know how many times they want to resurrect Jason. Um, they actually should just leave Jason in peace. I mean, I'm tired of Jason. Honestly, I think they need to come out with somebody new. Um, I'm a huge Halloween fan, so I'm really excited this month. Halloween is going to be coming. Yay! I like Halloween. Always have and always will. I just think it's so much fun. I like the fact I love to dress up and um I'm not necessarily into the gruesily like um I'm not into that yucky makeup. I mean, some people they take it on a whole new level. I mean, they they do their their makeup looks so surreal. I I couldn't do it personally. I just think that's too ugly. Um I'm not into that with the torn neck and the, the I mean, the makeup is just crazy. It just looks too real. And I, I just don't want to put that on me. So, um, but kudos to those who can do that. I mean, wow. Respect. But I'm still excited. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Every Halloween I have a party. So I'm going to have another Halloween party. And um, last year we... Tried to do, I mean, we had a Halloween party, but it wasn't the same, of course. Couldn't, didn't invite anybody because of the whole situation. People were still a bit skeptic about catching something, so. And then we went out, we tried to do trick-or-treating, and it, it just, uh, nobody was trick-or-treating, really. I mean, you didn't get any treats, so that was kind of sad, but I tried to make the best out of it. I always put loud music loud creepy music on and put some scary things out and then we create our own party at home but yeah of course it's not the same it's better if you got other people there and um yeah we all know how that is so i'm excited about that um i don't know i feel like every year i'm the same character i'm always playing a devil so i don't know i'm gonna do something different I'm not sure what no no actually no last year I wasn't it. No. Last two years, I was a witch. Yeah. I was a green witch. So I'm going to try to do something different this year. I'm not sure what I'm going to play, but yeah. Can't wait to do the makeup. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And what, another thing what I like, I like to make the, um, I like making Halloween food. That's fun. Oh my goodness. You know, creating making hot dog, making the hot dogs look like fingers and um, um, rolling up these um, mummy, what do you call it, mummy, you know, actually get a sausage and then you get the, the dough from, you take the dough from like a croissant, you know, which you would put in the oven instead of wrap it into a croissant, if y'all know what I'm talking about, then you would take that dough and then wrap it around the sausage and then it looks like a mummy. I know it's crazy, but it works, really. It's it's cute. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. But it's cute. And then I got this, like, really delicious, um, this really delicious um, dip um, that looks like a pumpkin. Unfortunately, it's made out of cheese, but it's still delicious. I'm, I'm not going to eat any, but I know that... Mm, my kids love it, and um, they've been eating that for days. So I'm going to make that, and then I don't know what else I'm going to make. Um, some other easy, cute, creepy things. But, yeah, we, we, we do. We look forward to celebrating Halloween. And this year, we're definitely going to do some trick-or-treating parties and stuff. And hopefully we'll get a chance to get onto the American base because we can get onto the American base. That is so much fun. Um, I mean, they really, they really throw down on the base. Oh, it's so cool. 
So hopefully we'll have access to get on to the base because the candy there is popping and then the, all the Halloween things. It's just so, so, it's just so cool. I mean, and the fact that everybody participates, that, that's really cool. I love that. Here is still not there. I mean, that Halloween is just not there yet. Um, that it's, it's slowly come about. I mean, I've been here a little over 20 years. Yeah, it's a little over 20 years I've been here. Oh my gosh, it's a long time. It's like half of my life, guys. It is half of my life. I'm not, I'm not, it is like, it is half of my life. It's been that long. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I've been here that long. Time is flying, guys. Okay, so with that said, being said, time is flying, so live your life, guys. I'm serious. Live your life and live out your dreams, okay? That is so important. Live your life and live out your dreams. Because time is flying, you think, oh my goodness, I'm young. I got forever. You don't have forever. Time is flying. The clock is ticking. But however, yes, it's been 20 years that I've been here. That I've been here. And it took 20 years to get that Halloween has become more and more popular it's still not as popular as other holidays but it's slowly getting there but however i make it we make it popular in our house so we're throwing down so yes so anywho um blah, 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 blah. so i'm gonna try out this new like i said i'm gonna try out the new um venti stick really looks like chocolate. Oh, I want to eat it. Before that, I'm going to put my little eyeliner pencil. Here's my eyeliner pencil. I love this color. It's a new one. I don't know how to pronounce it. Guarlain? Guarlain? I'm probably butchering the name. I'm not sure if it's a... No, it's... Um, it's French. Guarlain? Guarlain? I don't know. I need to learn some French pronunciation. Sorry, guys, if I'm butchering the name up. Yes, so what else has been going on? Oh, yes, big try on from Zara. So stick around. I got some really cool things from Zara. Zara's got a really nice collection, as they always do. I mean, that somebody asked me the other day, um, who's your favorite designer who do you like to wear and I really I like Zara I just think Zara is so cool mainly because of the price the fact that you can still stay in trend and not spend a whole bunch of money I, I just don't see it with you know buying designer outfits and then especially if they're trendy you know you spend all that money and then you'll never see that money again it doesn't depreciate then I prefer to Buy something like an a, a accessory, like uh, a really nice purse, which I know, okay, maybe in 10, 20 years I can resell it, you know. Get some good pieces with some value. But trendy things, I would stick to H&M or, or Zara and um, don't let somebody knock your game about Zara. I think Zara is very classy. And I think they do a, a really good job with keeping up with trends. I find that the um, the clothing line, I think I think it's good quality. I don't think it's cheap quality. H and M, however, is can sometimes also be a little bit cheap, but in general, they they all um, step their game up. Um, it's it's not like Shein cheap. I think Shein is cheap, cheap. You know, some products from. Uh, um, Fashion Nova is also quite cheap. Um, not everything, but a lot of their products, you know, it just feels cheap, you know. But um, I would say Zara. I mean, I, I, to me, they're number one in that aspect. They really, um, they really took the, the fashion injury in industry by storm with trends and prices. Of course, the prices did jump up a little bit but nothing where I can say okay never again I'm I'm not gonna do Zara anymore you know um 
Yeah, so I, I, I did a big shopping at Zara, and so I'm really excited to show you all what I purchased and all the cute new trends that are coming out. And yeah, I'm excited about that. Yes. Oh, wait. Let me show you something real quick. Aren't these cool? Look at this. This is like Cookie Monster Blue. This is from Zara. <laughs> Cookie Monster Blue. Yeah, but it's cool though. And look, I even got a matching beret to go with it. Yes, I do. I have a matching beret. Wait. I'm gonna pause it, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm so loving it. Yes, this is from Zara. Isn't that cool, guys? Ooh, I'm loving it. And these guys to go with it. Cookie Monster Blue. Yes. Why not? Why the heck not? I guess you would call this blue Colbert, Colbert Blue. Isn't that cool? Wait. Actually, it's supposed to be this way. You see, this is what I'm talking about. These are cute little trendy things. And, and the price is not hurt. Look, I paid 12 13 euros for and this is so cool and trendy with this hat doesn't that look cool this is giving me new york it's giving me fashion fashion week yes i'm loving it <laughs> yes i'm loving it that's that's the type of stuff that i got yes but it's a big fashion haul so guys stick around and um yeah check it out um, i might have to do a new video because this one's quite long this is what uh 22 22 minutes yeah that's longer probably need a little bit longer yes so um wait a second did i get a did i get an offer oh i got an offer on my coach bag um, somebody wants to buy it. Hmm. Should I sell it? Somebody wants to buy my coach bag. And it's a brand new coach bag, guys. I'm selling a really cute coach bag. And I just asked for 73 euro. And somebody offered me 55 euro. Hmm. I think I'll, I'll counter that. Say they can have it for 65. I think that's a good price. Yes. <laughs> it's a cute coach bag. It's brand new. It's a cute bag. However, so, yes, okay, so now here's the deal. I'm gonna try out the, I wanna try this. I don't even wanna use it, it looks so cute. It looks so neat, it looks so, it just looks like a little chocolate. Don't wanna use it, but I'm going to use it. See if it really goes on smooth. So. Hmm. Looks nice. Oh, the color's not bad. Was I was a little bit unsure about the coloring, but so bad. Goes on pretty smooth. Up to now, I've been contouring with this. 
I just started recently contouring because I had to get rid of the double chin, but I feel like my double chin is somewhat going away. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing weight. I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I got to get back in the gym, guys. I've been, I have not done anything. I don't know what happened to the journey. I guess the journey came to a halt. <laughs> I got to start up again, but um, I'm missing the gym. I think I'm going to start going to the gym this week. Okay. Look, you know what? It, it gives me natural. I, I mean, I don't think it's bad. Probably gonna have to work with this, but in general, it's not bad. It's smooth. <sighs> okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see. So I like to do my, I like to contour my nose as well. Yes, I'm contouring my nose. Um, uh, so I'm going to try it. I don't see it so good. It's very light. Maybe a little bit too light. I don't know. I think for the cheeks and for my uh, under um, under my chin is good, but I think I'm gonna stick to naked skin from Urban Decay. Um, Cause look, the color's a little bit more darker. And I think for my nose, contouring my nose, I don't know, I feel like the other one is just, I'm not, I'm not able to do it so well. This is a lot easier. I've never done contouring online, so this is a little bit different for me, guys, so bear with me. I know it looks crazy now, but I'm gonna blend it in nice later on, but this is how I do my nose. I know it looks crazy, but it's going to look cute at the end. Trust me, guys. It's going to look cute. Don't let this fool you. This is how it gets put together. The masterpiece. <laughs> so. Okay. So I'm going to finish that up. I'm not going to hold you guys up longer. But yeah, this is... I like the Fenty. I think it's nice for the cheek. It gives me naturalness. Um, I like it. I'm going to continue working with it. But in general, it's smooth. It goes on really nice. I got a, I got a better brush for that. Under the chin. I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> I like the color. It gives me natural and it's not hard. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to continue working on that. But however, yes. So I'm going to cut it. And, um, yeah, I want to say thank you for joining me. And, um, yeah, I know it looks crazy. I'm going to fix it up later. It's going to look better. Trust me. It's going to. I'm not going to go out like this. No, I can't do it. But, however, 
Thank you for joining. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell because each time I upload a video, you'll be notified. So until next time, bye. And don't go nowhere. Bye.